Unit 2. How? Why? Unit 2. Lesson 1. Why do we yawn? Bears yawn. Camels yawn. Most mammals yawn. Why do we yawn? No one really knows the answer. We do know that everyone yawns in the same way. First, you open your mouth slowly. Your mouth stays open for about five seconds. Then you quickly close your mouth. We also know that yawning is contagious or catching. When you see someone yawn, you yawn too. Many people say that they yawn because they are bored or tired. This might be true. However, we know that people also yawn when they are excited or nervous. Olympic runners, for example, often yawn before a race. Why is that? Some scientists believe that yawning makes you more alert. When you yawn, you breathe more deeply. You also stretch the muscles in your face and neck. Maybe this makes you feel more alert. Scientists don't spend much time studying yawning. That is probably because yawning doesn't hurt. It is just something we do. Why do people laugh? Do you laugh every day? Most people do. Scientists say that people laugh about 17 times a day. That is a lot of laughter. In India, there are hundreds of laughter clubs. The people in these clubs get together every morning. First, they stretch their hands above their heads. Then they pretend to laugh. Soon, everyone is laughing naturally. People say they feel good after laughing together. Scientists believe that laughter is good for you. Why? For one thing, laughter is good exercise. When you laugh, you exercise many muscles in your body. Scientists say that 100 laughs equals 10 minutes of running. When you laugh, you also breathe deeply. This helps you relax. That's good for you, too. Why do we laugh? That is a hard question to answer. We know that people laugh more often in a group. They don't laugh very often when they are alone. Many scientists believe that we use laughter to connect to other people. Laughter helps us feel part of a group. In English, people say that laughter is the best medicine. Some think that laughter helps sick people get well. Do you think so, too? Why is the sea salty? There is a lot of salt on the earth, and it mixes very well with water. There is some salt in all water. Water on the land runs into lakes and rivers. The water from most lakes goes into rivers. These rivers run into the seas and oceans. They carry a little salt with them. Some of the ocean water moves into the air and clouds. It evaporates. Salt cannot evaporate. It stays in the ocean. The water in the oceans has more salt than the water in rivers. Ocean water is about 3.5% salt. Some seas have more salt than others. Some lakes do not have a river to carry the water and salt away. Some of the water evaporates, but the salt cannot. These lakes are very salty. There are two famous lakes like this. They are the Dead Sea in the Middle East and the Great Salt Lake in the state of Utah in the United States. They are much saltier than the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. How can a plant kill? People kill. Animals kill. Animals and people kill for food, or they kill their enemies. People and animals can move around and find something to kill. They can run away from an enemy. They can kill it if it is necessary. Many kinds of animals eat plants. The plants cannot run away from their enemies. Some plants are poisonous. If an animal eats part of the plant, it gets sick or dies. 
Animals learn to stay away from these plants. There are many kinds of plants that make poison. Most of them grow in the desert or in the tropics. Farmers use many kinds of poison on their farms. Most of these poisons come from petroleum, but petroleum is expensive. Scientists collect poisonous plants and study them. Maybe farmers can use cheap poison from plants instead of expensive poison from petroleum. How do hearing impaired people talk? Hearing impaired people cannot hear sounds well. How do they hear words? Many hearing impaired people use sign language. They talk with their hands. Two hearing impaired people can talk to each other. They both use sign language. Sometimes a person who can hear interprets for hearing impaired people. The person listens to someone talking and then he or she makes hand signs. There are two kinds of hand signs. Some hand signs are for whole words. For example, there is one hand sign for the word love. There are hand signs for different actions, things, and ideas. Some of the signs are very easy. For example, the signs for eat, milk, and house. You can see what they mean. Others are more difficult. For example, the signs for star, egg, and weak. The second kind of hand sign is finger spelling. In finger spelling, there is a sign for every letter in the alphabet. For example, to finger spell the word love, a person makes four different signs. It is much slower to finger spell, but it is useful for signing names and technical words. People can use both kinds of hand signs together. Each country has its own sign language. For example, American Sign Language, ASL, is very different from British Sign Language. Using sign language is almost like a dance. The whole body talks. Sign languages are beautiful.